So, coffee is one of the most popular drinks in the world. And we've heard that Vietnam has some of the best coffee in Asia. If you've been following along, you likely already know that we're big coffee drinkers, especially Daniel over here. We can't go a single day without coffee. So we are traveling Vietnam for a month and we thought we are going to document all the cafes that we are checking out and let you know at the end which one are our favorites. If you're new to our channel, subscribe now so you don't miss future videos. Join us on this adventure as we travel Vietnam from north to south, discovering amazing cafes in Hanoi, Hoi An, and Ho Chi Minh City, where we try everything from traditional Vietnamese coffee, specialty coffees like egg coffee and coconut coffee, refreshing iced coffees for those hot days, and we even make a stop at one of the oldest cafes in Vietnam. We are starting our Vietnamese coffee experience here in Hanoi and we're gonna try egg coffee and coconut coffee for the first time. We're going to a cafe we've heard it has an amazing balcony where you can see the crazy traffic and an awesome intersection. I can't wait. <laughs> We're at Coffee A and this is a really cool spot to grab coffee because it's overlooking the intersection so you can see the crazy traffic. Which you probably can hear as well right now. <laughs> it's very entertaining. So we are about to try for the very first time the specialty coffee here in Vietnam. I got the coconut coffee and Daniel has the egg coffee. So let's try this. I'm really excited because this is cold and it's a really hot day so. Oh my god. This is so good. Wow. It's a little sweet, but not as sweet as I imagine. And it's really cold and refreshing. Oh gosh. The coconut coffee, so, so good. You can actually taste the caffeine in it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have this every single day, guys. This is so, so good. But okay. So I'm going to try the um, egg coffee, which is apparently very unique to speci speci specifically, oh my God. Um, Hanoi and uh, it is basically like a custard on top of a shot of espresso and oh wow. God, look at this Looks consistency so it's like I want to try this first mm. wow really good very rich is it sweet it is sweet sweet it's basically condensed milk with um, egg like, beaten up to like a, a foam oh. Nice coffee. Mmm. <laughs> Once you get a little bit of coffee mixed into it, it's not so sweet, but oh, so good. I definitely gonna have this like, like at least a couple more times. <laughs> I'm definitely having the coconut coffee every single day. It is so so good. Mmm. All right, now we're gonna enjoy the crazy traffic while Cheers. we have our coffee. <laughs> so, this coffee shop, Coffee A, is amazing. The coffee was really good. Um, I had the egg coffee. It's really creamy, really cool texture, but more like a dessert than a coffee, I would say. The coconut coffee, though, is definitely refreshing. So I definitely could have that every single day. It's not <laughs> too sweet either. And we really loved overlooking the traffic here. It's so it cool. It's such a cool balcony. So definitely a cafe worth checking out. Next up, we are going to Din Cafe, which is like pretty uh, wild entrance here um, so Din Cafe is actually owned by the daughter of the coffee Chang, Chang Cafe uh, which um, has the original egg coffee we'll be trying that one next but for now we are trying traditional Vietnamese coffee which is a black coffee with condensed milk okay so what's really um, popular here in Vietnam is coffee black coffee with condensed milk on the bottom. So it looks like uh, for the top here, like it is a normal black coffee, but then you steer it and you <laughs> see the condensed milk here. See this? And it's like, I usually don't like coffee that's any, any sweet, but uh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, I'm pretty strong. Oh my God, yeah. that wakes me up. Mm. Our next stop is Cafe Zhang, where we're gonna try another egg coffee. Yeah, so the cafe owner actually invented egg coffee in 1946 when there was a shortage of milk. 
he just whisked up egg yolks, added butter and condensed milk to make a very creamy consistency. You know, we already tried one at Coffee A, so let's compare the original with the Coffee A egg coffee. You ready for this? Let's do it. Okay, so first impression of the coffee shop, it is uh, definitely a little bit touristy here. <laughs> And it's packed. It is really crowded. <laughs> Compared to the other coffee shops that we've been before here in Hanoi, this is definitely uh, like really one of the more tourist attractions. We actually saw uh, like a small tour bus uh, like offloading people before in here. Like, okay, that's well, it's a it's I mean, a it makes sense. Makes right? sense. It's like a historical. Yeah, place, I know. So. I know. And then I'm really curious to see if the, how the egg coffee is and how it compares. Yeah. We'll see in a minute. We just ordered one hot and one cold egg coffee. Okay, let's try this famous egg coffee here, Coffee Jang. Um, it looks really, really cool. It comes in a hot bowl of water to keep it warm. Look at this. Let's try this. Very creamy consistency. Pretty good. I'm just gonna. Let me take a sip. Okay. <laughs> it's very hard to get down to the coffee. Let's just take a spoon like this. Much better. It's really, really good. Okay. So, compared to the coffee, a egg coffee, I probably have like coffee all over my face. Um, this one is definitely way more creamy, but also lighter than the from coffee a. It has it's a little bit more yellowy, and yeah, like a little bit of different consistency. I like this one actually more. Yeah, definitely. This one, come here for the egg coffee. Go to Coffee A for the view and for the coconut coffee. So I got the iced egg coffee version, which I haven't really seen that many people try. So I'm curious what this one's like. Also super creamy. Look at that. All right. Oh my god, it's like dessert. Kind of tastes like creme brulee, like cold creme brulee. Oh, this is so good. I don't really taste the coffee though, but it tastes really good. Let me see if I can get to the coffee. It's also a little bit hard with the ice. Okay. Mixing it a bit more now. So let's see. Mm. This is definitely dessert, but really, really good. This is definitely um, a coffee shop worth visiting. Um, also, the prices are not too bad. We paid 35000 for one egg coffee and they were delicious. Yes, amazing. That is it from Hanoi. We had some amazing coffee here. We are super curious what the other regions in Vietnam have to offer. We will see you in the next spot. Welcome to Hoi An, our next stop on our coffee adventure. Well, in Hanoi, we focused on specialty coffees. Here in Hoi An, we are going to be looking for the cutest cafes. This place is very historic and really, really charming. So let's find some adorable cafes. We are at the Lanterns Coffee and it looks really cute in here. So cute, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's living up to the name. There are a lot of lanterns in here. Super, super charming. And I got myself another iced coconut coffee. I'm addicted to these guys. I'm having these like every single day. They are so yeah, good. Like at least one a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dessert and coffee at the same time a little bit, it's right? Not, it's not too sweet. No? I wouldn't call it dessert. Uh, I don't know. I got a black coffee. I need something strong and mm -hmm. iced because it's really hot today. It's over 30 degrees and like... Oh, very humid. Very humid. All right, let's try Can't it Can't complain out. though, right? I mean... Oh my God. Nice and strong. It's really, really good. Oh, it's really strong. 
This is fueling my addiction to coconut <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Another great spot to grab a coffee here in Hoi An is right at the river. You have amazing views and if you're lucky, even a breeze, which is much appreciated on a hot day. Yeah, it's really hot today. So we are now heading to a coffee shop called Kao Duan. We've heard it has an amazing atmosphere and really good coffee. So let's check it out. And you probably guessed it by now, of course, I got another iced coconut coffee. <laughs> it is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I actually got one too this time um, because it's so hot here right now and it's more like a dessert, it's the afternoon and it's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's yeah. the perfect drink on a hot day. Absolutely. So actually this coconut coffee is a little bit stronger, I believe, and a little bit sweeter than the other ones. Yeah, yeah it's, it's still pretty good. It also has a little bit of coconut flesh. I don't know if you know if you noticed I that. Haven't noticed it yeah, now. it's like um, like it has a little bit of coconut mm. flesh. It seems like it's a sort of fresh coconut. Mm. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's really cool, right? It's a very like, strong, <laughs> yummy coconut. <laughs> and look how charming this is. Yeah. Behind, there's like so many lanterns. The walls are yellow, of course, Poyan yellow. <laughs> it is super, super, super charming. Yeah. So it's unfortunately our last day today here in Hoi An. We will be heading to Ho Chi Minh City and we've heard we have amazing coffee shops there. Really unique ones. So exactly. So you just have to stick around and see what we're going to be checking out. Okay, so we'll see you in Ho Chi Minh City. We'll have a lot of cool coffee shops for you there. And we also will tell you a little bit about the coffee culture here in Vietnam. So we'll see you in the next spot. We made it to our last stop here on our coffee adventure in Vietnam. We made it to Ho Chi Minh City. So Ho Chi Minh City is the largest and most populated city in Vietnam and it honestly also feels like the hottest. Oh, yeah. It is incredibly hot and humid here. So our mission in the city is all iced coffees. <laughs> <laughs> so you can really tell that coffee is really important to Vietnam. You see so many coffee shops everywhere. We're gonna check out an apartment building full of coffee shops and we also will be checking out the oldest coffee shop here in Vietnam or in Ho Chi Minh City. And we also just recently learned that Vietnam is the second largest coffee producer, I believe after Brazil, yeah, in, in the, the world. world. So yeah, coffee is really important and also very important to me. I really need a coffee. I haven't had one today. So <laughs> let's, let's hurry up. So the coffee shop that we're going to is in an apartment building filled with coffee shops. It is actually also a tourist attraction here. So this apartment building used to house government and military personnel and after the Vietnam War it got abandoned and then a bunch of creative individuals decided to rent out these apartments and open up coffee shops. So this apartment building is pretty much filled with coffee shops which is Daniel's dream. So, do you think that they have an apartment available for me here? Because I really want to move in here. This is, yeah, this is your dream. This is my dream and also probably not really good for my health because I'm already drinking too much coffee anyway. But anyway, this is really cool. There's so many uh, cute cafes in this building. We decided to go to Saigon Oi. It looks amazing. And it's really cute. They have a lot of greenery both on the balcony as well as inside. It is really, really cute, but I'm excited to try my coffee now. Yes. We got Saigon Coffee yeah. Iced. As I mentioned, I think we're going to be drinking iced coffees. Oh my God, 100%. It's so, so hot. You guys, it's uh, 35 degrees today. It's overcasted, but so humid as well. The humidity oh is my God. closer to 40. Oh yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Mm. it's a little different. Really good. Yeah, I like how most of the coffees here have a really chocolatey kind of note. Yeah, it's really good. Honestly, it's very strong, but I love the chocolatey undertone. It's, yeah, it's really, really, really good. Yeah, talking about the strength of the coffee, actually, let me tell you a little bit about it. So, um, I don't know if you know that, but there is two different types of coffee beans. There's the Arabica bean and then there is the Robusta bean. Most of the coffee shops in uh, North America and Europe are using Arabica beans. They are a little bit more sour, a little bit more acidic. And uh, here in Vietnam, the most popular coffee bean is actually the Robusta. It's a little bit stronger, like you said. It has a little bit more um, coffee notes and 
It is really strong, actually. Yeah. Just a little bit strong. It's double the strength of the Arabic yeah. caffeine. Double the caffeine. So yes. Definitely can't drink as many here as you do back home. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's still really good. Like, I mean, I've I've been seeing it. Like, I had like two or three coffees a day, and. Let me tell you, it's it's hard to fall asleep. Yeah, this is a place you probably don't want to have a late, too late afternoon coffee or evening coffee because you might have a hard time falling asleep for yep. sure. Yeah. All right. Anyways, early in the morning and then need the caffeine. That's great. <laughs> Next up, we're going to So Cafe, which is actually right across from Ben Tan Market, which is one of the oldest surviving structures here in Ho Chi Minh City. Now let's try to find the entrance to that coffee shop. I think it's down that little alleyway. Looks very interesting. <laughs> Let's go. So this actually really reminds me uh, on Ho Yam, right? Yeah. Where all the... Um, so no, Hanoi, Hanoi. Oh my God, we've had so much coffee. Uh, which where we had to go through um, so many little alleyways, which kind of looked like someone's uh, home. And so does this one actually. Okay, so I got something that is a little bit uh, more modern and uh, you don't see too often. We actually had this, I actually had this the first time in Mexico. It's um, espresso tonic, which is like a shot of a strong espresso shot and some tonic water. It's iced and it's refreshing and I usually love it. So let's try this one. Yes. They have like the floral notes from the from the tonic water, the uh, rosemary, and like yeah, just amazing. <laughs> Dana went with like the regular, the usual, right? I would say the usual. <laughs> well, my usual uh, earlier on used to be my iced coconut coffee, but I've been asking for that everywhere here, and it's really hard to find. Let us know if you've been to Saigon and you've had iced coconut coffee here. Where did you get it? Because like we've been looking, so <laughs> I had to change. But of course, iced coffee is so again, yeah, it is so, so hot here. So I just got, a, I guess, a boring old iced Americano. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant with it. <laughs> Not as special as yours, but still, I'm pretty sure pretty good. That's good. Definitely not as strong as some of the other coffees, for sure, but does the trick. And it's cold, so. It is. And they also gave us little cookies. <laughs> Okay, we made it to our last stop on our coffee adventure, which is the oldest cafe here in Saigon, the Kiu Leo Cafe. Yeah, I hope I pronounced this correctly. <laughs> which I think was open in 1930, so it's been around for a long time. Yes, and it's in a very local spot here, so I think you're the only tourist here. Oh, it might be, it might yeah, be. Yeah. I think unless you know about this place, you likely won't stumble upon it. <laughs> I don't think so either. And I really hope that um, we have a spot there because yeah. it looks pretty full. Very it's busy. Very popular. <laughs> All right, let's go in there. So that was an experience. <laughs> Definitely a really, really local place. I think we were the only tourists there, right? Yeah, I'm surprised. I kind of thought it would be like a lot of tourists because, yeah. you know, it's the oldest cafe in the city. But no, it was like all local <laughs> and such a fun experience. Yeah, and it was very loud in there. So we weren't able to talk about the coffee because they were blasting Vietnamese music. <laughs> Vietnamese ballads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really cool environment. Um, so what did we have? Um, you had a Vietnamese black coffee. How was that one? An iced Vietnamese coffee. Yeah. It was really good. Again, you get that chocolatey undertone mm. and it was really strong. I think that might have been one of the strongest coffees yeah. we've tried, but yeah. so good. And I had a Vietnamese iced coffee with condensed milk and it definitely um, like helped taking like the strong taste from the coffee away a little bit. Um, also, really cool. Uh, she was so cute, the owner of the cafe. Um, she just tapped on my shoulder and was like, Come with me, come with me. Like, I, and I think she was saying, Come with me because she was talking Vietnamese to me. Um, and she showed us how she's making the Vietnamese coffee. And yes, I know now why it is so strong. 
<laughs> it's a lot of coffee for one portion. It Seriously. Was, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you want to explain it? <laughs> uh, it's hard to explain, but like she basically like there's like uh, like a filter with like a lot of coffee in it that she puts in the vessel, and she pours over um, like with water, and then I believe what I saw is she's actually pouring more coffee over that as well. Yeah. So it's basically like instead of using like 100% <laughs> water, she's also using some some coffee with it. It is strong. Like my really heart is going cool. like this. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna sleep tonight, guys, but that was really, really good coffee. So obviously, we've gone to a lot more cafes than what we showed you yeah. in this video. If we showed you every place, this would be a very long video. Uh, an hour long. <laughs> but we want to share with you what our favorite spots were that we did share with you in this video. So I would say for iced coconut coffee, which is probably one of my favorite things to order here in Vietnam, was Coffee A back in Hanoi. And that's also a really awesome place to just see the crazy yeah, traffic from yeah. the balcony. Yeah, and uh, for the Vietnamese egg coffee, for me it was the Cafe Chiang, which is also the place that invented the egg mm -hmm. coffee. So it is not just a good touristy place, it's also really good there. Yeah, we've tried it a few, in a, a few other places yeah. and we would say that definitely was the best. Yeah. And as far as the experience goes, the coolest one, it is definitely oh, 100%. here. The one that we just did, it yeah. is incredible. I mean, cool that it's the oldest cafe here in the city and it was just amazing. Like what? What an amazing end to our yeah. coffee experience video. Yeah, actually awesome. being taken into the kitchen and seeing how they make it, best experience yeah. ever. Okay, we really hope that this uh, was valuable to you. Um, explore all the coffee when you're here oh in Vietnam. Gosh. We're gonna um, miss you're gonna it. love it. We're gonna miss it. Uh, I don't know. Vietnamese coffee I mean, is yeah. so so good. Just go to all the cafes you can. It is incredible. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment what your favorite coffees are if you've been here in Vietnam and cafes. Let other travelers know what your favorite cafes are and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.